Hello everyone, Riley with the Washer County School District here at Elizabeth Lenz Elementary School in South Reno. We're on our summer tour to see the repairs in action. WC1 funding, everything it's doing, 20 million, more than 20 million this year in repairs, more than 20 million last year in repairs. Superintendent Tracy Davis, you get to get out of your office, away from, from classes and dealing with students and teachers. Now you get to oversee the other part of your job. Tell me what we're doing here. Well, the simple part is we are spending this summer when kids are out having vacation time, repairing the buildings and making them better places for kids to receive instruction and better places for our employees to deliver that instruction. And to be honest, it's a great time of year for me to hang out with the Capitol side of the house because I get to ask lots of questions about things I truly do not understand. And so being able to hang out with Tony McMillan from the Capitol side of the house and explain things to me and actually it's like shock and awe. I'm like, is this is what's underneath the floor of a classroom. This is how this all works, but good things happening to repair our buildings, much needed repairs, and we are so thankful for our community for ensuring that we could do this for our 64,000 students. This school's getting a two and a half million dollar HVAC upgrade, it includes flooring, uh, air conditioning, asbestos, lead abatement, other minor activities in the whole scheme of things. So this is the same the same project as we saw last year at Gomes Elementary School with the crane coming off the roof. Much needed air conditioning, much more reliable heat source for the classrooms. Keep it a nice constant 72 degrees, easier to learn. Tracy, that's your area. You might not know construction, but you can tell me, I'm sure, what that means in the classroom. Oh, I tell you, if you have a classroom that's too hot or too cold, kids get squirrely and so Temperature makes a difference, believe it or not. Um, and I think it's important that people understand if, if we don't have the necessary cooling and heating systems, kids are sitting in class snuggled up in jackets, right? So we have to do our due diligence to ensure um, that we keep the building running accurately so we have optimal learning environments for our students. In times like this, right, running into the summer and kids come off the playground already sweating into a hot room and you're trying to get them to do multiplication, good luck. And for more information on this and every other project we're doing across the county, you can always visit wcsdbuilding.com.